Wir vom UMCH Team befinden uns We from the UMCH team are here today at the Protestant Hospital Metman near Düsseldorf. Lately many questions have reached us concerning the daily life of the UMCH students at our teaching hospitals. That's why we'd like to introduce you to one of them today. Dr. Berg, the medical director and chief physician of internal medicine, is already waiting for me. So, let's go see him now. Dr. Berg, perhaps first of all, you could tell us some of the most important facts about the Protestant Hospital Metman. Yes, I'd love to. Our hospital has 250 patient beds and supplies in the district town of Metman. We are located in the city triangle between Dusseldorf, Ruppertal, and Essen. The district of Metman is one of the largest in Germany. The hospital serves as a medical center for about 10,000 inpatients and 15,000 outpatients per year. Our facility is modern and well-equipped. We have a large department for internal medicine with many specialized units. Our surgical department consists of a large orthopedics and trauma unit, as well as a large general and visceral surgery unit. In addition, we also have a gynecology and obstetrics department and an ENT department. Furthermore, we have an anesthesia and intensive care department. So, you have a very broad variety of medical departments, and you say that teaching is also important to you. Why is this the case? Well, medical training is very important to create the next generation of doctors. We take our responsibility very seriously and enjoy training young students and doctors. After all, we are a teaching hospital and have established concepts which help us train students in a way that prepares them for their everyday work life. We do this with much enthusiasm and dedication. What are the special qualities of the teaching here at the Protestant Hospital Metman? Well, we don't only focus on teaching theoretical knowledge to our students, but also a lot of practical knowledge and skills. This is absolutely crucial when preparing students for their work life as doctors. They have to learn how to deal with critical situations, how to conduct difficult patient conversations, and how to master all necessary practical techniques. For example, diagnostic and therapeutic punctures, ultrasound examinations, as well as critical situations in our emergency department. Knowing the theoretical context of the procedures is important, but they have to be able to act and take things into their own hands. That's one of our main aims for the students here at Metman. We're not in a random examination room right now. We're in a special room. Could you please explain why? Sure. Right now we're in the angiography laboratory, or catheter lab. This is where we carry out interventions on peripheral vessels in the field of angiology. We work with stents and Foley catheters on narrowed vessels, for example, in the pelvic and limb area, or on cardioid arteries. We do this several hundred times a year. While we perform these interventional procedures, there are always students shadowing us. And you always have an iPad with you, or is that just a coincidence? Well, we are an innovative and modern hospital, and we have a high standard in our technical equipment. We are one of the few hospitals that works almost exclusively with mobile devices instead of paper. That means that our work environment is completely digital. This includes our daily rounds, our anamnesis, and the preparation of our findings. We have electronic ward trolleys and no more paper fever curves. It's even possible to work remotely from home using a laptop. So, in conclusion, we take a very progressive approach in how we work and belong to one of the very few hospitals that have been able to establish these technical tools at such a degree. Excellent. Thank you so much for taking the time for us, Dr. Berg. Let's continue with our tour of the hospital in Metman. So, now I'm in the hospital's intensive care and emergency medicine unit. Next to me are Dr. Fischer and Dr. Hoffer. Dr. Hoffer, what exactly happens in this department? The Department of Anesthesiology in Metman is responsible for carrying out a variety of anesthesiologic procedures for all surgical departments here in the hospital. For example, general anesthesia for abdominal surgeries, short anesthesia for shoulder placements in the trauma room, the placement of pain catheters for knee surgery, or, of course, pedurial catheters for patients in the delivery room. On the other hand, we are an integral part of the interdisciplinary team here in the intensive care unit. 
This means that we care for intensive care patients together with our colleagues from the internal medicine department. In addition, we also take a major role in the trauma room and are part of the cardiopulmonary resuscitation team of the clinic. You also teach in this department. What is particularly important to you? Anesthesiology is an interdisciplinary specialty. This means that we collaborate very closely with all other departments and medical specialties, such as the intensive care unit or the emergency medicine room. Therefore, we place great emphasis on teaching an interdisciplinary approach, even during the years of academic student training. But at the same time, we take a focus on anesthesiologic cardiovascular and respiratory management. Another major goal for the students and trainees is, of course, the acquisition of practical clinical skills. Every anesthetist has their own workspace. This means that we can guarantee a close, one-to-one -one care support for our students. This allows the students to quickly translate their theoretical knowledge into practical skills. This can be a venous puncture, an arterial puncture, or the airway management with intubation, or the management of intensive care patients over a period of several days. All this takes place under supervision of experienced clinicians. All these skills are acquired by the students during their stay in our department. Ultimately, they will be able to carry out many of these procedures independently. How convenient that we have one of the residents standing right next to us. Dr. Fisher, what does the everyday life of a student here actually look like? I started my specialist training here last year. Prior to that, I also did my clinical internship or practical year here. That's why I know the conditions here out of a first-hand experience. From the very first day, you get involved with all the clinical activities that take place here. But there's always someone with you, so you never feel left alone. You get insights into all the different areas and disciplines here at the hospital in Metmin. Dr. Hofer made some interesting points. The focus is really on learning the practical skills. That's the main point. You also get the opportunity to accompany the emergency medicine doctor. I really enjoyed this as well. You can also join the intensive care unit for several days. This is another thing that's really important because you can see how the patients are doing over time. I think working in the anesthesiology department can be very stressful because there is usually a lot going on. How long does a regular shift in your department take? It really depends. The regular day shift starts at half past seven in the morning, also for the students, with the morning rounds here in the intensive care unit. All patients in the intensive care unit who receive surgical care, afterwards we go with our fellow doctors into the operating rooms to do the anesthesias. It is really great how rapidly you get involved with the daily tasks here. Hopefully at some point there are breaks as well. I assume so. Yes, there are definitely. You can also have a great meal here. That's exactly what we're going to do now. Thank you very much, Dr. Hoffer. You're welcome. I would suggest that we go to the canteen now. Now we're in the canteen of the hospital, and we've just got ourselves something delicious to eat. I just heard that the students can eat here for free. What other perks do they have? This is really a great thing. We also run the Institute for Health Promotion. There is a variety of different courses that you can take part in, e.g. on the topics of exercise, nutrition, and fitness. That's really nice. On the other hand, there is also a gym where you can work out a little after the shift. I hear you can get a massage, too. Right, you can also get a massage. That is also a big advantage. In case you actually start working here at some point, I leased an e-bike for my daughter and me. If you organize it through the hospital, you get discounts. This is really great. That sounds great. And the food also looks great. So I would suggest that we eat now before we go on to trauma surgery. Hello, Dr. Kaminsky. Hello. We're in the surgery department now, in a trauma examination room more specifically. My question to you, Dr. Kaminsky, what exactly does a trauma or orthopedic surgeon do? A trauma and orthopedic surgeon has two fields of activity. On the one hand, he of course treats people injured in acute accidents. On the other hand, there are elective operations, such as the implantation of knee or hip prostheses. So basically everything planned for patients who didn't have an accident. 
If you study here, what practical and communicative skills do you acquire? First of all, you get to see a lot. The range of traumatic accidents is very broad. And you get to see all these kinds of things in a very friendly environment. We are not a huge department, but we have a manageable size in which people communicate directly with each other, so that everyone is always accessible and approachable. Why should a potential student decide in favor of the Protestant hospital Metman of all places? There are plenty of good reasons to choose Metman. On the one hand, we offer a very wide-ranging, very well-founded training in trauma surgery and orthopedics. And, on the other hand, the working atmosphere is casual and friendly. The unusual for surgical departments is that we work with an extremely flat hierarchy. Now we really got an excellent overview of the Protestant Hospital Metman and know what to expect as a student here. If you'd like to find out more now, just take a look at the website, which can be found below. Thank you very much, Dr. Kaminsky. Thank you very much.